Upgrades in Grounded have changed. No longer using Quartzite, instead you're gonna be using Fashion and Tough Rocks that you can find scattered around the map. But there is a small, tiny amount of the Tier 3 stuff. The Tier 3 levels are called Rad Rocks, and these are the only ones that you can upgrade your weapons or armor up to level eight and nine. The devs aren't releasing the actual recipe so you can craft your own until 1.0 actually hits which means you've got a limited amount to be able to upgrade and craft weapons and armor if you haven't already maxed out a lot of your stuff already through Quartzite. So I will have other videos showing location of every single rock and as many nuggets as possible that you can get in some of the laboratories. But today it's the focus on the tier three stuff, the rad fashion rocks and the rad tough rocks. Let's go. So the first location you might find easier if you turn the haze off is near the stepping stones and this particular trench here. You'll get one rad stone of toughness and there'll be one rad rock of fashion just close by. Remember, each time you break one of these rad rocks, you get actually the tiers below as well. So you'll get three pieces of normal fashion rock, three pieces of cool fashion rock and three pieces of rad fashion rock, otherwise known as nuggets. Next up, a place I have rarely visited, only maybe once before, the Abomination Cave. This is where you get the Abomination Totem. You need to go to where the net is in the water and find this leaf in there. You probably will need breathing apparatus. I was using cheats just to show you guys quickly. Find this little cave entrance and you'll know it because you've got loads of the ant heads on sticks, just like the cave that you find near the hedge. Keep swimming through and eventually you'll hit somewhere where you can breathe again. And you've got the Totem recipe and you'll find one tier three rad rock, one tier three fashion rock here. Probably the hardest one to do, and you may struggle if this is survival, but I'm pretty sure you can still do this if you're really quick. Get yourself a bunch of clay. You're probably gonna need around 45 to 46 pieces. If you build it just at the right location near the stick on top of the wood pile, you should be able to basically nerd pole up using the clay corners. These are the only pieces that can do this. Larger clay pieces or other pieces might not necessarily work. If you've got more mushroom pieces, then you could try it. But yeah, I think it's best and quick easy to do it how I'm showing you. I've shown this off before by using platforms and I previously said you could use ladders to get up here. But of course in pure survival mode, you can't carry any weed stems up ladders. So now this is the best and easiest way to get up on top of this fence. Once you're up on the fence, you can run along and then jump over into the basket where you'll see a whole bunch of the tier three rad rocks. There's three of each here, so that's gonna give you at least nine rad tough nuggets and nine fashion rad nuggets. Next up is to the four leaf clover cave. You'll find this just underneath these leaves close to the swamplands just near Rash Island. Go through and you should be able to get through without any extra breathing apparatus. Just make sure you've got something where you can see the way, otherwise it can get pretty dark. You'll go past the scab as well, but we're not showing that off today. And eventually you'll find your way to get in, obviously the mutation, coup de gras, but we're after the fashion rocks and the tough rocks here, tier three. Do bear in mind, some of these places do have the other types of tiers as well, like the cool fashion rocks and the cool tough rocks as well. So it's worth paying attention. There's another one there just underneath the yellow Lego brick in the sandbox. And then next up, head to the burrow with the half eaten leaf. It's pretty much close over to the yellow spade. Here's where you find a rad stone of toughness. If you then head over to the salt burrow, which is the one that's closest to the water and the scanner, you should then be able to find another rad stone of toughness, but also a fashion stone. And that's almost it. We've got to go over to the termite hill though, go through to where you face the termite king and you'll find a rad stone of toughness. And of course there are other rocks here as well. So because it's limited, yes, you won't be able to upgrade much of your weapons and armors. So if we take a look at weapons first, there's gonna be 27 rad tough nuggets that you can find in the world before 1.0. And depending what you're trying to upgrade, what you're gonna make, then you may be able to get more weapons max upgraded than others. The jewels now cost some of these rad nuggets to craft. And if you're going down the mighty path, then it's gonna cost two rad nuggets each time you make a new jewel. So if you wanna upgrade a weapon up to level nine and you haven't got any other unlocks and you've got no other weapons already at level eight, then you'll be able to get two of your weapons with the mighty upgrade up to level eight. But you won't be able to get level nine because it costs 30 tough rad nuggets to do so. 
Of course, if you happen to have some weapons already at level 8, then getting to level 9 might not be as expensive, and you might be able to go ahead and get at least one of your weapons with the tough level 9. It is cheaper though if you're using any of the elemental jewels. They only cost one of the rad tough nuggets to go ahead and make. So what it means is that you could potentially have one weapon of each set up to level 8. You can have a spicy weapon, a fresh weapon and a salty weapon and you'll have enough just about to make at least one mighty weapon up to level 8. That will use up 25 of your rad nuggets and you'll have two left over. When it comes to armor, it's pretty much a similar thing. You won't be able to craft any of the rad fashion nuggets yourself until the 1.0 update hits. So that means you've only got 27 rad fashion nuggets to use in the world. So that means you can upgrade four pieces of armor up to level nine. That's because it's gonna cost two rad fashion nuggets to upgrade a piece of armor to level eight, and then four rad fashion nuggets to craft a piece of armor to level nine. So you'll be able to craft one set and one other additional piece of armor up to level 9. Of course that number will change if you've got lots of armors already at level 8. But you get the idea, if you're picking up the game recently and you haven't built up a big supply of armor and weapons already at level 8 or 9, then you may find it quite tough in these initial weeks until full release. Once we're able to get the actual recipe to craft them, then we will obviously be able to go ahead and find some of the resources. For the fashion nuggets, it's gonna be dust mite and sap. And for the tough rad nuggets, it's gonna be uh, black ox horns as well as sap. Phew, hopefully I've explained that. Obviously I'll do more videos discussing this and we're still waiting for that 1.0 release. So things may change between now and then, given some feedback. But that's it at the moment. If somehow you want to upgrade some of your armor or weapons up to level 8 or 9 and you've got no more quartzite because it's been removed from the game, then hopefully this video will show you the right locations to find it and get some of them upgrades. I will do videos showcasing where to find all the level 2 stuff, but it's not as important because you will be able to craft that your own out of bug parts or certain resources like rubber. Until next time, ratbags, laters.